Hail to the king, baby. Tilted Tower's rebuilding effort is heating up. Cool off at the No Sweat Summer Beach Bash, sponsored by No Sweat Insurance. Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about just who are No Sweat Insurance. They have been in the game since near the beginning of Fortnite, and we were a heavy influence during Chapter 2, especially Chapter 2 Season 3, when the whole island was flooded, and they were responsible to keep almost all the POIs afloat. Now we're in Chapter 3 Season 4, a similar occurrence is happening, except this time they're using a no sweat balloon to float different parts of the island to try and avoid the chrome takeover. But as we know, no sweat insurance has a lot of bars or money. We have 8 trillion bars, but we want to buy more private shoppers. Join the party, help our marketing team get the word out. No sweat insurance have even saved the traveling boat that first appeared in Chapter 2. But who employs them to ensure certain POIs are safe? The likely candidate for this is the Imagined Order, as they have always run the workings of the island. The IO, however, seem to be defeated after the collision event, with Dr. Sloan being taken out, and Gunner dying to the hands of Dr. Doom during the Zero War comics, as well as Geno seeming to die and pass responsibility of the island to the Seven, or the Foundation. If we go to Tilted Towers, this is where No Sweat helped us rebuild Tilted, with those dubious voting machines. As you can see, in Tilted Towers, they have their main office building, with a balloon attached, meaning that building will be safe. But it seems, Tilted Towers might once again be destroyed, as it has a complete absence of no sweat balloons. Even Spawn Island has some sort of protection provided by no sweat insurance. With all this said, who do you think employs no sweat insurance? I believe it's the IO. Do you think they are completely separate from the Imagined Order, however, which would create an expanded Fortnite lore entirely? I've been Agent Draven, and as always, thanks for watching.